Commencement is a very important occasion. And although it is a celebratory event, it is also filled with a great deal of gravity and tradition. We all dress in our academic regalia, each wearing the symbols of our academic rank and background, and we come into the room to the music of pomp and circumstance. Commencement symbolizes the beginning of all the new opportunities that were afforded by the degree you earn today. Like many before you, I am sure that you came to AUSB because you wanted to make a difference, and we have no doubt that you will indeed make that difference. Prior to every commencement ceremony, I think back once again of my own college experience. Growing up in the 50s and 60s, my mother never told me I could do anything I wanted to do. She told me I could be a nurse, but not a doctor. A teacher, but not a college professor. Oh, and oh, by the way, teaching was something that you did for a while until you got married and had children. Um, and it was something to fall back on. Those were the times. My mother told me that I would marry my future, not make it. In addition, I was what they called a late bloomer in those days, which means I was no stellar student. I had no idea where I was going, and my high school guidance counselor told me unequivocally that he thought I was going nowhere. In fact, he said I was not college material. Prior to every commencement, I think about what would have happened had I listened to his voice. I would be living even today with the results. I wonder how many of you sitting here today have received similar messages. Having the self-confidence not to listen to those voices is not something that comes easily. Nor is it something that if you happen to find it, you can sew it on like Peter Pan's shadow. It is something you have to work at. Had I listened to those words many years ago, I would not have chosen any of the paths that presented themselves to me or the ones I have forged. Had I listened, I would not be standing here today. And what a pleasure it has been to stand here for the last seven years as president of Antioch University Santa Barbara. I can tell you that the work that I have done while at AUSB is the most meaningful of my professional life. As president of Antioch University Santa Barbara, it has been my honor to have led this procession into the commencement ceremony over the past seven years and today for the last time. Like you, I will begin the next path and the next challenge of my life. This is the last commencement ceremony that I will have the honor to congratulate you, our graduates, as you walk across the stage. But the word commencement does not mark an end. It actually means beginning or start the beginning of a new challenge or pathway. It is time for you to take your next path. My hope for you is that you not let anything divert you from it. Not everything you do will be perfect. Even armed with your education and your experience, you are going to make mistakes that I can promise you. So get over it. <laughs> Move on. Don't be afraid to take those paths because you fear making a mistake. And to go back to Peter Pan's shadow for a moment, J.M. Barry, author of Peter Pan, also wrote that the moment